Hello everyone, I am Chintan and you are watching Archivision. Firstly, thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe and also hit the bell icon. So in this video, we will look at how to model this parametric shape which you see on the screen. This form was suggested by Milrat Pridavri in a challenge of some sort. So we will look at how to model this in SketchUp without using any plugins. So let's get started. Firstly draw a circle, it can be of any size, then draw a smaller one inside it. Now join the, these lines as shown the first segment of the each circle and join the middle point of the smaller circle to the origin. Then select it all and make it a group. Then after you have done this, then you need to draw an arc which is perpendicular to the blue axis. Okay. Now as we have done that, we need to draw a line underneath it to make it a face. Now we extrude this and make a half cylinder sort of a shape and we extrude it till the smaller circle. Now we move the corner points of the X circle and make it like this. Then what we do like after we have this we select this face and we copy it at the other end and basically just to divide the whole geometry into many segments that we need to rotate. After this we select it all and we do intersect faces and with selection. So after we have the intersection done, then we delete all everything we don't need in the extra bits and we are left with our intersected symmetry which we can now rotate. So now what we all need to do is just to select the individual faces and rotate them separately and we will have a desired shape which we can use to get to the desired results. Uh, for many of you who have uh, trouble selecting these faces, you can just change the style of the view that you are looking and this is the x-ray mode which I am working in. I have a shortcut key set up for this. So I hit this and I can work efficiently like I can see the points which are not visible. So this is how I rotate and also if you have trouble in selecting and rotating around the model space efficiently you can watch the video i have in how to move around and navigate in sketchup models efficiently so after you're done with this you will be left with a shape uh, that you can work off when we are done with this uh, also you can take your time there's no rush you can take your time and like get to the desired shape and you can if you are trying for the first time you can take two three times to do it after that you can just select it all and make it a component and then just rotate multiple copies of it around the circle and 23 to be precise and you will have this after that what you need to do is just select the individual alternate face alternate shapes and just move them down perpendicularly and after you have done that you just need to flip them and put it back up okay as shown so after you put them back up you can just select one component and edit it as shown like delete the base and the faces that we don't need so we can delete the base here and we can delete this bit and we can delete this edge also so we have a shape uh, also we need to move it up a bit so now we can paint it just red or something like this i don't know like orange maybe so yeah now also we don't need this bit and this edge so after we're done with this we have our desired shape now we can just select it all explode it explode it once again and we can just smooth it up and smooth edges and after you smooth edges boom you should have your desired shape and this is how we make this in sketchup